First, it was the recall in Westminster over water rates, and now it's a fight over developing farmland. Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski explains how residents are trying to overturn council's vote. It's more divisiveness for our community. This is a story about two sides. This area could be lost forever. One petition. Ordinance 4106, Councilor Bill. And 200 plus acres of undeveloped farmland. I feel strongly that this is the right development at the right time for our community. It sits at the corner of 84th and Federal in Westminster. A developer wants to transform this farmland into more than 2,000 homes after three long nights of heated debate. Just keep contaminating and contaminating. City Council gave the Uplands project the green light in December. And Mayor McNally. Yes. The motion passes on the 5-2 vote. But now, Carl Meridia and his group Save the Farm are trying to overturn that vote with this petition. And put the issue of the Westminster farm to the voters. They view this land as one of the last pristine areas left, while Brian Head with Sensible Westminster sees it as the right location for much needed development. Declined to sign the petition because this is a costly um, election on a project that has been vetted by our community, by city staffs, by our elected leaders. The group trying to save the land has just five days to come up with a little over 8,000 signatures. It's an uphill battle. Just the latest battle to save this farmland from redevelopment. This is a money grab, a maximum profit uh, play for the developer. We can't stop progress. Jennifer Kowaleski, Denver 7. And if they get enough signatures, city leaders say it could trigger a special election or go on the ballot in the next general election and city council would ultimately decide.